What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. Let's listen to some Robert Wyatt with Rock Bottom, the album released in 1974. You guys have asked for this one for quite a while. You guys have asked me to at least take a look at the first song. Take a listen. Let's go ahead and do that. We're not at Rock Bottom over here. We're at Rock Top. That doesn't make sense. And <laughs> so we're going to listen to the first track on the album, which is Sea Song. Uh, like I said, off of Rock Bottom. So Robert Wyatt from Soft Machine. Uh, I've only listened to Fourth from Soft Machine. That, that album's got teeth. So <laughs> let's go ahead and listen to a little bit from his solo work. Now, before I get too far into it, I just want to mention two things about this. The album's produced by Nick Mason of Pink Floyd fame. How did that happen? Like, actually, how did that happen? How did Nick Mason from Pink Floyd get involved with Robert Wyatt from Soft Machine? Isn't that kind of like a really cool crossing? I got to look into that because I don't see any information immediately. But that is really, really, really cool. Then, on one of the tracks, you got Mike Oldfield. You got Richard Sinclair who will be playing bass on this track. I say let's go. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. Let's go. See a song, Robert Wyatt.
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is the first track on the album, Sea Song. Did not expect this at all. I have to listen to the next track. I have to. You have to listen to The Last Straw. Because this was... This, al this album, this song, approached me in a way I wasn't expecting. It begins with a kind of simplistic, but really nicely melodically and atmospheric kind of intro. I really love the piano and synth combination that Robert has going on. And then in the first break, it kind of becomes a little discordant. Which, in that section, it began to lose me a little bit. Not, it did lose me, it began to. I was like, okay, is this going to be like just a random, we're going to be, you know, kind of playing random keys and just going up and down and kind of being random <laughs> kind of music now. But, really interestingly, the music has a very specific ebb and flow like the sea itself. Which, now that we finish this particular track, I get. I see it. Because, at least on a first listen, I can kind of hear four distinct movements. And I mean, like, almost like a literal movement. The first, the waves wash in, and it's a positive movement. The air, the room fills with melody, fills with atmosphere, from Robert singing, the piano, the synth. And then in that first break, the water washes away. And that's where it becomes a negative. And that's where it becomes more like, like I said, like an area of discord and discomfort. And slowly, the waves come back in of music. And it comes back into that mellow fold, goes out again, becomes discordant. And at the last moment when Robert's doing those vocalizations that, I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> it's like a seaside uh, scat. He's doing something there, and it starts kind of off, but then the synth beneath, he starts to align himself vocally with the synth, and when it comes together, it's this really small but harmonious kind of climax that I think is really cool. So, what I'm kind of trying to say is that this first track <laughs> wasn't what I was expecting, but kind of makes me very interested to hear well, what's next. Right? It's a six minute song. It's an introduction to the album, but it leaves me wanting to know, like, where does this go from here? So I'm not gonna do it on this video. I'm gonna kind of pull a focus situation where I'm listening to this track. We're gonna talk about this track a little bit more. And then I'm gonna record the video for the next song, A Last Draw, literally after I finish this video, but I'll give it a few days or whatever before I release it. So it's not like you get Robert Wyatt, Robert Wyatt, right, right back to him, you know, back to back. I like a little bit of variety. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy that ebb and flow nature of the song. And I mean, it's called Sea Song and it feels like just relaxing by the sea. But not in a lounge chair with a drink in hand. More like a solemn walk. Listening to the waves, listening to the seagulls, and just kind of looking out to the horizon. Like more like a solace than a celebration. Let me pull the volume down a little bit and come back. Singing wise, kind of reminds me a little bit of Peter Gabriel, just a, just a little bit. But I love that really buzzy and tiny synth behind the piano. Also reminds me a little bit of Peter Hamill. Don't, don't at me. Not as extravagant and not as dramatic, but with a similar cadence in some ways. And then see, so you have the tickling of the keys here, which begin this kind of random movement. This is the native portion of the track. But then it's not too long, and you can see, like, you can still hear the metronome kind of going on back there. That just kind of gives it a pace. And then slowly... Hold on. Here. Listen how it transforms. It's very trippy. Right there. Right there. How gorgeous is that? They drop out the random notes of the piano, leave that synth line, which has been sustained the whole way, bring back the vocals, and then start the new piano line. That's awesome. That's a great way of transforming from negative to positive. And I just really like the way that uh, Robert captures that there. 
And I think that it's really cool to have Nick Mason doing the production here because you can kind of hear, at least I can, and I think, like, you can hear a little bit of Pink Floyd's, I mean, a small, not that he needs or anything like that, but you can hear Nick Mason's production in here, in that trippiness, acid seaside section there where things are kind of moving around and bubbling in different ways, kind of like in Echoes, in the ambient section there, you know? It turns from unnerving into beautiful melodies. It turns from uncanny valley into a paradise. And I, I think that he kind of carries over that production idea in Hero Sea Song by Robert Wyatt. That's that's really good. This is really cool. And see, like here, you have two main melody lines. The the scatting or whatever is going on. <laughs> and then that lead synth and the way that they first kind of you know, dance around each other, and then soon they kind of swim next to each other. It's just really cool to hear that. Uh, so yeah, I really want to listen to the next song, but let's go ahead and get into these lyrics before we do so. There we go. You look different every time you come from the foam-crested brine. It's your skin shining softly in the moonlight. Partly fish, partly porpoise, partly baby sperm whale. What kind of fish is this? I wouldn't want this in my sushi. Am I yours? Are you mine to play with? Joking apart. When you're drunk, you're terrific. When you're drunk, I like you mostly. Late at night, you're quite all right. So at first, I thought he was just personifying the sea itself. Maybe he's talking about a mermaid or something. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't seem like a very attractive mermaid. Part fish, part porpoise, part sperm whale. But I can't understand the different you in the morning when it's time to play. At being human for a while, please smile. So are we talking about some sort of mythical beast? Isn't there a, a, a dolphin in South America? It starts with a bee, I think. And like it, it's supposed to like transform into a person at certain times of the day and it lures people to the river where it drowns them. I don't know, maybe it's something like that. You'll be different in the spring. I know you're a seasonal beast. Like the starfish that drift in with the tide. So until your blood runs to meet the next full moon, your madness fits in nicely with my own. With my own. Your lunacy fits neatly with my own. We're not alone. So who is he with, is the question. Is it some seaside mythical beast? Is it the sea and the ocean itself? Or is it something else? Until your blood runs to meet the next full moon. Someone having a period? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I, thank you guys for having, oh, thank you guys for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful, I, want, I hope that you enjoyed the music. You can let me know your thoughts down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. You can subscribe if you haven't already. And all of that stuff. Thank you for being here. I'm going to listen to the next song now. Come back tomorrow. It won't be the next song, but it'll be something else. We'll get to the next song on the channel at some point. But I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.